feathers enter the back circle. If you are capable, we ask that you rise. Gentlemen, remove your hat. about that in a little bit. Yeah. All right. Our first performance here this evening here is our woman's fancy shawl. On the far left side of the black shawl is Anna Beta, Shoshone Pueblo. Our other little one is Morning Little Shield, Arapaho Shoshone. Our other dancer is Diana Jose, Arapaho Shoshone. Now our women's fancy shawl is one of our newer contemporary style of dance. Very new in nature, very colorful. You will notice that the uh, ladies will carry a very colorful shawl across their shoulders, across their arm, and held by their hand with long colorful fringe, which adds movement and style to this kind of a dance. Now this type of dance here, there's a lot of jumping, twisting, and twirling. It is said that the young ladies are the ones who participate in this kind of a dance because of the energy and stamina that is required. Watch as they keep in time with the drum. This is also said that it symbolizes the dancing butterfly, right? Okay, but I uh, make them dance. Give them a moment to catch your breath there. 
We want you to pay particular attention to the beat of the drum, the rhythm, and the motion of our fancy shawl dancers. Okay, I'll tell you, make up that. Now each of these dance categories, we're going to give them two songs. So you, the general public, can get an idea of what these dance styles look like and the meaning of them. Women's Jingle performing, we have Shelly Littleshield Shoshone. <laughs> Alexis Eagle Shoshone. <laughs> Elena Lone Bear Arapaho. Okay, we have Amari Abeda. Okay, I didn't have a name on my list. <laughs> now, as I mentioned, I'm substituting for George some of the dancers, I don't know them. But anyway, now, the Jingle Dress Dance here, there's a story how it originated, and I must share that with you for you to have a full understanding and the meaning of this dance style. The Jingle Dress originated up in northern Minnesota amongst the Ojibwe people. There was an Indian medicine man there who had a granddaughter that was very ill and sick and he wanted to heal her. So that night when he went to sleep, he had a dream. He had a spirit dream. And in the dream, the spirits came to him and said, in order for you to heal your granddaughter, you must make this dress that I am going to show you in this dream. He showed him a very colorful cloth dress with patchwork designed on it with a very sparkly, shiny material attached. <laughs> He told him that you must make this dress and put it on your granddaughter and take her to the dance circle. So when morning came, him and his wife, they commenced to get the material and make the dress. They made the dress with colorful patchwork design and the uh, sparkly, shiny material, and they attached it to the dress. The shiny, sparkly material that you see on the girls' dress here before you are those of the modern-day chew can lids, the snuff can lids. These young ladies cut them, shape them, curl them, and they attach them to their dress. It is said that the adult women wear 365 jingles on their dress to coincide with the days of the year. Now the grandfather, he made the dress, him and his wife, and they put it on the granddaughter, and they brought her to the dance circle such as this. And he called upon the drummers and singers to sing a song, four verses. The little granddaughter tried to dance. She tried to walk and dance. However, she needed, needed some assistance by the other <laughs> lady dancers there. The second verse, she started to walk a little bit. However, still needed some assistance. The third verse, she started to walk and dance a little bit. And by the fourth and final verse, she danced a full circle. Thus, she was healed. And the spirit dream of this dance dress became reality. The young girl was healed. <coughs> This, ladies and gentlemen, is a healing kind of a dance with the jingles that the young ladies wear. 
Now you will see they have very colorful dresses with patchwork designs that have symbols and meanings to themselves, their family, or their tribe. The jingles is, adds a little sound and movement to this dance style. You'll see that your layers are beaded, very, very colorful, and it takes months and months to make these uh, dance outfits. Sometimes you will see that they will carry an eagle feather fan in their hand. They will wave that to the honor beats of the drum, the heartbeat of Mother Earth. Sometimes you will see they will carry a scarf or a beaded purse in their left hand or their right hand. Now the Jingle Dress dance style has a dance very unique all its own, unlike the fancy shawl. Watch as they keep in time with the drum. First song, okay, hey, Jingle Dress. again to pay particular attention to the beat of the drum, the rhythm, and the movement of our Jingle Just Dancers. This one here is called the Sidestep. Sidestep or the Ojibwe Roundup. Watch as you keep the time of the drum. 